Let's read the fourth question now. Okay, ma'am. Mm. A cubical block of side 7 cm is surmounted by a hemisphere. Mm. What is the greatest diameter of the hemisphere? The greatest diameter the hemisphere can have. Find the surface area of the solid. A cubical block of side 7 cm. A cubical block of side 7 cm is surmounted by a hemisphere. That meaning is a cubical block. Power cubical block. Surmounted by a hemisphere. That meaning is on the top face. The top face have a Hemisphere. On top of the cube, there's a hemisphere. That's good. So all the four sides uh, have a circle face. And yes, that way. That way. Okay. Then okay. The, uh, what is the greatest what is the greatest diameter the hemisphere can have? So can you say the answer? What is the greatest Man, diameter? Uh, the block have a side face as a seven cylinder. Side yes, measurement is 7 cm. Our question is, what is the greatest diameter of the hemisphere? Ma'am, we can find the total, the total surface area of the diameter okay. first of the... No. no need initially. So, here two questions are there. What is the greatest diameter of the hemisphere can have? There is a plus question. And the second question, find the... so diameter will be 7. Yes, good. Diameter is equal to... I said this seven exactly equal to this seven. That is the greatest. Okay. The, food, the diameter of a hemisphere is equal to seven centimeter. The second question is find the surface area of the solid. Okay, I will explain. Um, so TSA mm. will be a mm. surface area of the block plus a mm. CSA of the hemisphere. Um, it's not correct. Exactly not correct. Some of the portions not covered in your answer. Okay, ma'am. So question number four. Pass number ten. First, I draw the diagram. As a cube, yes, and the top have a hemisphere, the circle face just lying on the top face of the cube, and the bulging portion is, is on the top. Okay, total surface area of the solid sphere means what portions are seen here? Mom, all the sides. Oh, this circle portion is not seen, is it right? Yes, The circle portion is not visible, you know. The circle portion okay, is not visible. Is it correct, ma'am? Ma'am, so uh, uh -huh. TSA of the, the uh -huh. TSA of the cube uh, uh -huh. plus uh, uh -huh. CSA of hemisphere plus uh, base, the area of the base of the hemisphere. Ah, uh, LMA plus that last minus area of the Oh, okay, minus area. Okay. Or okay, I draw the top of the uh, cube. It's the top face of the cube. And the top of the top face of the cube is looks like a square shape. And the circle, this portion is not visible. But the four corners are visible. One. The four corners. This four corners we can see. Is correct? Yes, ma'am. Uh, this four corners we can see. Therefore, total surface area of this solid is equal to. So initially find all the um, six faces of the cube. That is 6A square. Yes, ma'am. 6A square. This question is important. Okay. Mm, it's a surface area of the solid. Solution. The greatest diameter is. The greatest diameter is equal to 7 centimeter. Because the side measurement is 7 centimeter, therefore this diameter is also 7. And okay, now the surface area of the solid. Surface area of the solid 
is equal to, so initially find all the six faces of the cube, six a square, and minus the circle, because the circle portion is not visible. Okay. That means it's minus by r square. On the top, okay. on the top of the face, a hemisphere, the CSA, that is 2 by r square. Is correct? Yes, ma'am. Now this is equal to 6a square. Just these two are like them. Just simplify. Is plus pi plus r pi r square. It's good. Now you know all the measurements. So yes, a is equal to that is a side of seven. The cube, seven centimeter, and radius is seven by two because diameter is equal to seven centimeter. So diameter okay. this diameter is equal to seven. Therefore, radius is equal to seven by two. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Just to put uh, substitute every values in the form. Okay, ma'am. Six a square that is seven times seven is a forty nine. Pi in the question pi is not specific means is a twenty two by seven. Twenty two by seven. Seven by two. Seven by two. So cancelling it like one two here eleven. Forty nine times seventy seven by. Plus seventy seven. Uh, seventy seven by two. Simplify and say the answer more please. Simplify okay. and say the answer. Two ninety four. The seventy seven by two. Say that take calcium or the fraction convert into decimal. So two ninety four plus. 3 to 6 remaining is 1. It's 17. 38.5. Oh, 38.5. Just add up to the 294. Here, no decimal means put a point 0. This is 38.5. Just add 5. 332.5. Yes, good. 332.5. So, because of area, the unit is a square. That's all. So, do you have okay, any doubt in this question, ma'am? No, ma'am. No doubt. Shall we move to the next question? Yes, ma'am. No good. Read the fifth question. Okay. Mm. The hemispherical depression is cut from mm. one face of a cubical wooden block such that the diameter of Hemisphere is equal to the edge of the cube. The diameter the L, diameter area L of, the... of the hemisphere is equal to the measurement is given as a here L. Okay, uh, such that the diameter L of the hemisphere is equal to the edge of the cube. Uh, determine determine the, the surface area of the remaining solid. Okay, what is the difference between four and five? So, what is the difference between fourth question and fifth question? Um, Ma'am, and fourth question, the hemisphere is outside the Mm. Cube and, and this it's yes. inside. Yes, good. That is the only one difference, but otherwise all are same. The previous question have a numeral measurement, the fifth question have a variable measurement. That's so, all. Otherwise, the process was same. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Now we do fifth question in board. Question 5. So, one more time I draw a diagram. So, here also a hemispherical depression is cut out from one face of a cuboidal cubical wooden block. Uh, okay. Such that the diameter L of a hemisphere is equal to H of the cube. Determine the surface of the remaining solid. Just draw the cube initially. Yes, in this way. And now the hemispherical portion is so lies inside of the cube is correct. So now yes, also the top face, only the four corners only visible. The circle portion yes, is not visible, yes. And the depression portion is lies inside in this way. So can you imagine this one? Yes, ma'am. Yes, good. So here the diameter is given as a L. That is a L unit. There is no unit given. So there is a L only. So we take it as a L unit. Therefore, also given that this edge also L unit. Yes, ma'am. Any doubt in this diagram? No. No, but okay. So now also the surface area of the solid is equal to 
surface area of the solid is equal to all the six faces initially, 6a square minus the top face circle because the circle portion is not visible. Okay, ma'am. The circle portion is not visible. The circle portion is not visible. Okay. Therefore, remove this one from the 6a square. That is 6a square minus pi r square plus 2 pi r square. That is inside okay, yeah, surface area that is in the minus hemisphere. Pi r square. The 6a square plus pi r square. Pi r square. Here, the side measurement a as a L unit. Diameter is equal to L unit. Therefore, from that, R is equal to L by 2. Just substitute 6 A square, that is L square. Pi is a 22 by 7. Otherwise, keep that as a pi. Because all other have a variable measurement only. Is correct? Yes, ma'am. Therefore, we keep the pi as it is. So pi r square l square by 4. So in this expression, l square is common. So we can take out. Yes, ma'am. So we can take out. So l square, the remaining is 6 plus pi by 4. So otherwise, take a LCM. 4 is also outside means l square by 4. This term will become to is a 24 plus 5. That's all. Okay. Is there any doubt in this line? No, ma'am. No doubt. So we finish with the answer as a square units. The unit is specifically not given. So for we end with the square units. That's all. These okay, two questions are very important. Are you okay, Pa? Yes, ma'am. Shall we move to the next question now? Yes, ma'am. Mm, sure. And sixth question also, just read it. A medicine capsule is in the shape of a cylinder with two hemispheres stuck to each other on its of its ends. The length of the entire capsule is 14 millimeter and the diameter of the capsule is 5 millimeter. Mm. Find its surface area. Yes. A medicine capsule in the shape of a cylinder is like up to this line we consider as a cylinder. So this line portion have a cylinder portion. Okay? okay. And the two ends, a hemispherical end. This is a hemispherical portion. Mm -hmm. So, okay, now, the yes, diameter, of, the length of the entire capsule is a 14 mm. So, this place, this end to that end, the diameter, the length of the capsule is a 14 mm. Okay, the diameter of the capsule is a 5 mm. That means this is a diameter where everywhere that place also has a diameter as a 5 mm only. Find its surface okay. area. Can you say the formula? Surface area means uh, what portions are visible in your point of view. That is a surface area. Okay, ma'am. Mm. Mm, 2 pi r square. Okay. Um, so 2 pi r square. Uh, then. Uh, Ma'am, and surface area of the cylinder 2 yes, pi r h. Very good, very good. Uh. Uh, mm. 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 It's also one more 2 pi r square, you know? Okay, ma'am. Two hemispherical ends, the left side and right side of the cylinder, has two hemispherical, here one hemisphere, here one, one hemisphere. Therefore, 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r square. So for simplifying that, we can take these two together, that means 4 pi r square plus 2 pi r h. And after that, every measurements are substituting your variable. Simplifying it, we get answer. That's all. Okay. Should we start our calculation part now? Okay, ma'am.
question number six. It's a, ca a capsule in the form of a cylinder and the two ends are the hemispherical ends. This side on hemispherical portion and this side is also on hemispherical portion. So total length of the capsule, that meaning is uh, this end to that end. That's the total length of the uh, capsule is equal to 14 mm. The diameter is given as a 5 mm. This is a 5 mm. The width is a 5 mm. Our question is, what is the surface area? The so surface area of the capsule is equal to surface area of the capsule is equal to we said 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r square. So 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r square just add up. They all like terms, you know. So 4 pi r square and 2 pi r h. Now, we write every measurement. We said total length is equal to 14 mm. So for a cylinder and for a <clears throat> hemisphere. For a hemisphere. The cylinder <clears throat> radius, hemisphere radius, both are same. So R is equal to 5 by 2 mm. Is correct, ma? Yes, ma'am. So 5 by 2 mm. But and we can write this equal to 2.5, right? Um, so avoid the decimal value inside the calculation. So keep the fraction format. At last, we will convert into decimal format. Okay. Okay. Sometimes cancelling possible means this paper, this fraction format is good for to the calculation. And now height of the cylinder means this to that only. This can be calculated. H is equal to this 14 mm minus here 1 5 by 2. This in this center to anywhere. So from this center to check on your color. Oh, good color. Ah. This center to moving to anywhere of the hemispherical portion, all are considered as a radius. You know, this is a center and to anywhere, all these are radius. Is correct? Yes, ma'am. So 14 mm minus 2 times 5 by 2 removed. This side okay, on R, that side on R. So now 2 to get cancelled. This is equal to simply 14 mm minus 5 mm. This is equal to what? Okay, it is 9. Is correct? Yes, ma'am. 9 mm. Therefore, height of the cylinder is equal to? 9 mm. Yes, good, good. Very good. Therefore, height of the cylinder is equal to 9 mm. So, all the measurements are now known. Just some simplification only is remaining. Is correct? Just simplification. Yes, ma'am. There is no phi value specifically given. So, we take this at 22 by 7. 4 times 22 by 7, R square. Okay, R square is a 5 by 2, 5 by 2. It's a 5 by 2. This is 5 by 2 and one more 5 by 2. Plus 2 times, uh, 5 is a 22 by 7, okay. And R is a 5 by 2. H is a 9. It's a simplification. It's a common term. Common term means take out this 22 by 7. Here 1 22 by 7. Here 5 by 2. Here also 5 by 2. I round the common terms. This and this also common. So just take out. So 22 by 7 times 5 by 2. The remaining is right inside. There's 4 times 5 is 20 by 2. This That is the remaining term in the first term. So plus, and here 2 nines are 18, you know. Yes. Now this is yes, cancelled. 11 times 5 is a 55 by 7. And inside the bracket, cancelling it is a 10. 10 plus 18 is a 28. So now also, uh, these 28 go with the 4. 1, 7, here 4. So 55 times 4. And multiply and say the answer. Okay, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Quickly. 
So 4 by 22 remaining is 4 by 22 is already, it's a 22. So millimeter yes, square. So do you have any doubt in this question? Okay, ma'am. Do you have any doubt? No, ma'am. No doubt. The question is also very important. No, ma'am, no doubts. Good. This question is also very important. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Suppose I have doubt, okay, please ask me. I will explain one more time. I hope that no, no doubt. No, no doubts. That's good. And next question. Okay, ma'am. Okay, seventh question. Just read it. A tent is in the shape of a cylindrical surmounted by a conical top. If the mm. height and diameter of the cylindrical part are 2.1 meter and 4 meter respectively, mm. and the slant height of the top is 2.8 meter, mm. find the area of the canvas used in making the tent. Mm. Also find the cost of the canvas of the tent at the rate of rupees 500 per meter square. Mm. Note that the base of the tent will not be covered with canvas. So, you know, so in any tent um, on the floor is not covered with a canvas. Sometimes carpet is known. So, in the way, um, the base of the tent will not be covered with the canvas. The canvas is used to making the tent. Okay. Okay. A tent is what shape? Mm. A shape of a cylinder surmounted by a conical top. Mm. So, can you draw the diagram okay. and, show, and show it? Please draw. Okay, ma'am. In your notebook, please draw that diagram. The tent shape, please draw. Just draw the diagram only. There is no need to me mention the measurement. Quickly, quickly. None like this. Wait, 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 no, wait. Yes, good, very good, very good. Super. Super, no, enough, 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 enough. Very good. Question seven. Actually, a tent, a cylinder surmounted by a conical top. It's a conical top. The slant height, actually the diameter of a cylindrical part are 2.1 meter. Height and diameter, height is given as a 2.1. Is correct, Amma? Okay, ma'am. So 2.1 meter. And the diameter is given as a 4 meter. This is a 4 meter. So therefore, here they are also 4 meter. Is correct? Yes, ma'am. Yes, good. And the slant height is also given. It's a slant height. This slant height is always known by L. It's a top is okay, a point. Two point eight meter. So all the measurements are in meter, okay? Okay, ma'am. So our aim is to find the canvas area. If you can find the area of the canvas used for making the tent. So is there any doubt in the question? And then, any doubt? Any any doubt in the question? No, ma'am. No doubt. Okay. So what is the formula to find the area of the tent, please tell? Uh, ma'am. Mm. Is it note that? The floor is not covered with the canvas. This is um, the so floor, surface you know? area of the cone plus surface area uh, of the cylinder. Uh, 
pi r l plus two uh, pi r. Very good, h. very good, very good. This portion is not covered because this is a flow of the tent. Is correct? Yes, ma'am. Not covered with the tent. Not covered with canvas. Not covered with canvas. So surface area of that is CSA of the CSA of the cone plus CSA of the cylinder, and this joining portion is also not covered with the canvas. Is correct, ma'am? So yes, ma'am. The surface area of the tent, the area of the canvas is equal to now. The area of the canvas is equal to CSA of the surface area, the CSA of the cone plus CSA of the cylinder. Now say the formula for each. Pi R L plus. Hmm. Plus. Two pi R H. Two pi R H. Now write every measurement separately, and cone and cylinder. It's a four cone. Four cone. The radius is equal to four by two. Is a two meter. And cylinder also radius is equal to two meter. But. A silicone have a slant height only given. It is a two point eight meter. A uh, height is not given. We only find h. Okay, notice there is no need, no need here. So pi r l only. There is no need to find h for cone. But the height of the cylinder is what? Is it directly given? It is two point one. Yes, ma'am. Now every measurement is known. A substitution and the simplification part only left here. Is a pi is a twenty two by sir. Is a radius is equal to two four by two is a two. Our slant rate is a two point eight. So in the simplification portion, we need take it as a twenty eight by ten. This is easy to do the calculation. Okay, plus two times two point eight can written as a twenty eight by ten. So then it will be easier, Kuma. Twenty eight by ten. In my yes, point, this fraction formula is very easy to get cancel. Hmm. So twenty-two yes, by seven radius is here also two. A uh, height of the cylinder is two point one. We can write as a twenty-one by ten. Is it okay? Now yes, ma'am. This is the first term. These all are a second term. Now do the cancellation. So cancelling part is very important for this chapter. So otherwise all are easy for student point of view. Is correct? So one seven here four seven. Good. So two here five. No more possible. So here seven, here three, and two here five, and multiply the remaining terms. So twenty two times four is eighty eight by five. Plus here twenty two times two, that is forty four. Forty four times three, this three is here, is twelve one twelve plus one, so thirteen. One thirty-two by five. So both have the same denominator. So put as a five. It's a common denominator. Now both terms are added. Eighty-eight plus one thirty-two. So eighty-eight is add. Yes, ten. The carryover is a one. Is nine plus three is a twelve plus one is a twenty-two. Is two twenty-two. Two twenty, not two twenty-two. So two twenty. So divided by five. So now the two twenty go with the five. Is correct, huh? So four five twenty. Yes, ma'am. Remaining is a two. That is in front of zero. Take it as a twenty again. Four five. Ah. Oh. So check the answer. Yes, correct. Exactly correct. Okay, ma'am. Exactly correct. But sum is not completed because yes, we won't find the cost price also. This is forty-four. Forty-four meter square. That is a unit. So now we see the question again. So the end. Read the end of the question. Also read ma. Also read it. Okay ma'am. Also find the cost of the canvas of the tent at the rate of five hundred per, per at the rate of five hundred per meter square. Per meter square, the cost price is five hundred. Therefore, find the cost of whole 
can was to make the tent. That is a question. So next work is what? Just our answer is multiply. Also forty-four into five hundred. Ah yes, good. Also uh, two thousand. Mm. Uh, mm. Twenty-two thousand. Two thousand. Very good. Very good. Twenty-two thousand. Yes, very good. Number four. Okay, ma'am. Cost. <clears throat> it's a total cost or cost price. For total cost to make a tent. To make the tent is equal to 44 times 500. <clears throat> These two zeros added. It's a 22,000 rupees. So, do you have any doubt in this question? So, do you have any doubt? No, ma'am. No, ma'am, no doubt. Next question. That is question number eight. So, read the question number eight. Okay, ma'am. So From a solid cylinder whose height is 2.4 centimeter and diameter 1.4 centimeter, a conical cavity of the same height and same diameter is hollowed out. Mm. Find the total surface area of the remaining solid to the nearest centimeter square. So can you draw the diagram for this also? Try to draw. Okay, ma'am. Show me. Ma'am, will it be like the question number five? Like how the semisphere is inside the cube and this, the cone will be inside the cylinder? Mm. Actually, here is a solid cylinder. Measurement is given. It's a conical cavity. So conical cavity means that conical portion is inside the cylinder. Yes, ma'am. Ah, of the same height, this is very important. The same height and same diameter is hollowed out. These are hint for you. So conical cavity means that the portion is lies inside of the cylinder. Yes, ma'am. Mm. Run like this. Mm. Actually, a small mistake is there. Small mistake. The conical. Uh, I read the question. I I show the question again. So, uh, small mistake. Ma'am, does the cone have to reach all the way? To the the yeah. conical, the sharp end of the conical portion touches the bottom of the cylinder. That's the same height. I show the question again. Please, okay. again, from a solid cylinder whose height is 2.4 centimeter. Actually, a cylinder portion have a uh, height as a 2.4. The full measurement is a 2.4 measurement. Yes, Diameter is given, okay, a conical cavity of same height. Same height means the con conical portion. Also, also, the cone will come all the way till the end. Ah, good. Just okay, take your diagram and show it likewise. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Now show it. Yes, good. Now good. Very good. Very good, ma'am. Very good. Enough. Okay. Okay. Now we start the calculation for eighth question. <clears throat> so question number eight. The cylindrical portion height is a two point four is a two point four centimeter. It's a height. This is a 2.4. Now, a conical cavity is a conical cavity of the same height and same radius, same diameter is hollowed out. The cone, the sharp tip, so touches the bottom of the cylinder. This is a cone. 
short term. Now, the diameter is given as 1.4 centimeter. Okay. Uh, find the total surface area. Find the total surface area of the remaining solid to the nearest centimeter square. So, what is the formula for here? So, what is the total surface area of the remaining solid? What portions are visible for you after following this conical portion? Yes, ma'am. Oh, the bottom of the cylinder is visible. Also, surface area of the cylinder is also cone. visible. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Three I'm portions so are visible, ma'am. Bottom of the cylinder, that is a circle in shape. Um, yes, ma'am. Third surface of a cylinder, that is a rolling portion of a cylinder. And inside the cylinder, the portion in the shape of a cone that is also visible, that is CSA of the cone. All these, all these three are visible. Just apply the formula for these three and add up all. That is the total surface area of the remaining soil. That's all. Are you okay now? Okay, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. I'm good. Now, uh, initially we write every measurements for cylinder. Cylindrical portion and conical portion. So, cone, write it here. The cylinder height is a 2.4 centimeter. Is a radius is equal to 1.4 by 2. So, we take this as a 14 by 10 by 2. It's 14 by 10, this is for 1.4. Already 1 by 2 is there. This way is cancelling what is easy. In cancelling, inside the cancelling work, the, uh, avoid the decimal part. Okay. Um, now, okay, 10, okay, 7. Two, this is seven. Enough to keep that as a seven by ten. The radius of the cylinder is seven by ten. Now we move to the conical part. Is a conical part height is what? Please tell. What is the height of the conical portion? Um, two point four. Yes, good, very good. We mentioned as a different alphabet. Is a two point four. Both are same. Is a two yes, point four. So there is same means we keep it as a same variable. This height is equal to 2.4 centimeter. So we take this a 24 by 10 here also. Therefore, this also 24 by 10. Now, uh, here also radius is the same. It is 7 by 10. And for finding the CSA of the cone by your L, but L is not known here. What is the formula for L? Uh, mm. H square plus R square. Yes, good. Yes, good. So, by the Pythagorean theorem, la? Yes, ma'am. H square plus R square. H square, that is 24 by 10, the whole square. R square is a 7 by 10, the whole square. We continue. Okay. You know, 24 square is a 576. And this is a 100. 7 square is a 49 by 100. And just add up the numerators by 76, 49. This 15 carry over 1, 8 plus 4 is a 12, and 1 is a 625. This is 625 by 100. We take the square root separately for numerator denominator. That is easy. So root of 625 by root of 100. So please say, what is the square root of 625? 25. Mm, it's good. That is equal to 25. So the root of 100 is a 10. So 25 by 10 and so is 2.5. Mm, 2.5. So 2.5, that is equal to 25 by 10. So in our calculation, which one is easy? So either we substitute 2.5, otherwise 25 by 10. So both are good. Now, okay, we go to the main calculation part. That is surface area of the remaining solid. Is correct? Yes, ma'am. Um, now, 
surface area of the remaining solid remaining solid is equal to the bottom is like a pi r square circle in shape and the CSA of the cylinder is a 2 pi r h and the CSA of a cone is a pi r l. Now substitute every value after that we take the common term out. Otherwise initially we take common all terms have a pi as a common take out. All the three measurements have the same radius so r also take out. Okay. In the first term only one r is left. And here pi r is out means 2 h is left. Here only 1 l. Is there any doubt in this line? Uh, mm. so, twin. Which place I'm you have a Actually, so in, in this line, do you have any doubt? Ma'am, in this, you took pi r common, right? Yes. The pi r is okay, common for all the terms. Okay, ma'am. Now substitute everything. Is it only 2 by 7? Or, or is what? Uh, uh, 7 by 10. Is correct? Or? Yes, ma'am. So back little. My mother 0 0.7 and the other. That is here is the long. Cancelling or kill in the long. But cancel punter is easier. Okay, ma'am. It's also 0 0.7. Yes, correct. Exactly correct. So cancel punam more than 22 by 7. You can go 7 by 10 or 7 cancel punic law. Okay, ma'am. So, if you want to please you have to follow. Okay, ma'am? Okay, ma'am. Either you have to follow in a decimal form or fraction form. That is your choice one. Okay? Zero okay, ma'am. Both are correct. 0 0.7, I take this as 7 by 10. Uh, height is equal to 25 by 10. So, in a fraction, which I cancel, it is easier to go. We have to confusion about it. Plus, it is Okay, ma'am. And this is 7 by 10. This is 7 by 10. R is 7 by 10. So 2, uh, H is a 24 by 10. That's a 2.4, 24 by 10. Hmm? Our L is uh, calculated as above what? Is 25 by 10. Now, fraction we the benefit in Navina, simplify it to work easier. At last, we will convert in decimal form. This, this get cancelled. So, 22 by 10. Okay, okay. here 7 by 10. And it's a 48, 48 by 10. So, 25 by 10. All have a same denominator. Just add up and put a decimal point. That is very easy. There is no need cancelling now. Um, and cancel panning now. The denominator change of home after the DLC. This is easy. So 22 by 10. And all have a same denominator. We take it as a 10. Just okay. add up all. 25, 48, 7. It's a 15 plus 5 is a 20. Now 2 is 4. 18 is 18 by 10. Now get cancelled. Okay. So 22 by 10 with 8. That is 176 by 10. This is equal to 17.6. Yes, answer is exactly correct. So in which place you have a doubt or which place you were feeling was very difficult. Please tell I don't have a doubt. Actually, when I mentioned the formula learn is easy. Number substitute the last student point of view easy. But in okay. the common mistakes were the repetition and mistake were now working place, the simplification place the work in the place of mistakes were all. So number okay. decimal upon the decimal away maintain zero point seven, two point four, two point five. Okay, follow that with the help of a decimal place. Either okay. spot work. And so Ella made a ten much without decimal, the addition part is easy though. So adding all the numerators and common denominator. 
இப்ப பார்த்தேன்னா கன்சல் பண்ணிக்கலாம் எயிட்டி பை டென் இஸ் எயிட் நைன் அவுட் சைட் த பேரன்டிஸ் இஸ் டுவெண்ட்டி டூ பை டென் இப்போ பாருங்க ஹியர் ஓல்ஸ் டென் கேன்சல் பண்ணல இப்போ கூட ஏன் கேன்சல் பண்ணலன்னு தெரியுதா உங்களுக்கு நான் மல்டிப்ளை பண்ணிட்டு ஒரு ஃபிராக்ஷன்ல ஒரு ஃபைவ் வைக்கிறேன்னா கொஞ்சம் <laughs> கொஞ்சம் <laughs> Okay ma'am a wooden article was made by scooping out a hemisphere from each of a solid cylinder as shown in figure 12.11 with the height of the cylinder is 10 cm and its base is of radius 3.5 cm find the total surface area of the article okay a wooden article was wooden article was made by scooping out scooping out means that the curved out that's all the conical cavity here conical cavity here hemispherical cavity that's all scooping out hemisphere from each end of the solid cylinder this portion is scooping out and this also scooping out and the cylinder measurement height is at 10 cm this fully as at 10 cm at 10 cm and the radius is a 3.5 from this to that yes, is 3.5 Our question is total surface area of the article. Please tell uh, how to find the total surface area. Here also, uh, what portions are visible for us? That is the uh, total surface area. Uh. Please imagine the question. Guess the question. Visualize the question. And okay, say how to find the total surface area. Uh, Number total surface uh, area. TSA mm. of hemisphere plus uh, TSA uh, of CSA TSA of a hemisphere is it correct mm, CSA of hemisphere yes good CSA of a hemisphere um ma'am see uh, two times CSA of hemisphere plus uh mm. uh mm. plus ma'am for the cylinder it will be a CSA TSA of cylinder, of cylinder. CSA of, CSA of cylinder CSA of only the rolling portion only visible in cylinder there is no top and bottom is covered with a wooden pot wooden portion illa yes ma'am on the top and bottom the circle is there is a hollow hollow there is no wood on the top and bottom therefore the rolling portion only in a cylinder that is a csa to pair hatch so two hemispherical top and bottom are adjoined together means we will get a one full sphere that is a four pi square are you okay, okay ma'am now yes ma'am we go to the calculation part portion portion 
um, a height of the cylinder is at 10. So from the height is at 10 centimeter and the base is of the radius 3.5. The radius is equal to 3.5 centimeter. Hemisphere from each end of a solid shape. Yes, correct. This is also 3.5. Okay. So now uh -huh. write the measurements. So for the hemisphere. So hemisphere and cylinder. The hemisphere radius is equal to 3.5. So either we take with a decimal way or fraction way. That is your choice only. My point of view, all the fraction format is good to do the calculation. And cylinder height as a 10 centimeter. And here also radius are same is 35 by 10. Okay, good. Now, uh, total surface area of the article. The total surface area. Okay. The total surface area of the article. Is equal to two times hemisphere, lama. Two times, two times CAC of a hemisphere. Is correct? Plus yes, ma'am. CAC of a cylinder. Okay. So two times two by R square. Simply we take as a four by R square. Cylinder two by R H. Now, um, here to by common take out. Otherwise, we do the calculation, write the calculation. Just substitute as it is. Okay, ma'am. So, 4 times, so 22 by 7, radius is a 35 by 10, and one more 35 by 10, plus 2 times. Pi is a 22 by 7. Our R is a 35 by 10. Yes, good. A height is a 10. Yes. Now, so from this to that is a full term and this is a second term. So don't we can cancel 7 and 35. Good, good, good. Yes, good. High. And um, Mom, 10 and 5. Okay, first we do do this one. This is 5 and here 10, 10. Okay. Otherwise, yes, correct. Now, and in this place, 1, 5, here 2, 5. Correct, Amma? Yes, and 2 is 11. Simply, uh, this is a 44. 44 times, but mm, one more cancelling possible. Here 2, um, 5. 7 by five. 2. Here 2, here 2, not a 44. Yes. Fraction learning is sensing that easy cancel. Okay. okay. Decimal is convert to calculation. Vandu, at last, we will convert into decimal form. There is no okay, denominator. There is one only. La. 2 11 yes, 77 times 2. 77 times 2 is a 14, 115, 154. So 154 for our first term. And here, um, 22 times 10 is a 220. Okay, hmm? Now just add. Okay, just add. So 200, 300, 
374 nerve centimeter square. That's all. So okay, mostly we avoid manual calculation avoid pannanam, fraction la pannanam ullu. And decimal la vaykkum odu, very rare students point of view la vandu mistakes pannanam kind of chances is irukku. Working may vandu okay, namam manual la pannanam edi work irukku. Time saving purpose kaha idha follow pannanam kirathu kooda. Okay? That's all. Okay, ma'am. Uh, Univar textbook 12.1 is over, is correct? Yes, ma'am. Check with your book, ma'am. So 12.1 have only nine sums. Yes, ma'am, only nine. Okay, all sums are covered now. Shall we move to 12.2 now? Okay, ma'am. Good, good. Very good. That is all related to volumes. Still now, just we learn uh, surface area, total surface area, everything. Now, we will learn a uh, volume. What is the meaning for volume? Uh, I don't know. Volume. Volume means what? Uh, volume is volume. Uh, volume is what? Volume is what? In the chapter. Hmm. Max is the solution. Apart from Max, what is the meaning for volume? Ma'am, the uh, hmm. ma'am, the amount of volume. Amount of volume. Amount of volume. the amount of space inside of a ah. inside something. Yes, good. Yes, good. The capacity. Ma'am, the hemisphere the volume is two by three pi r cube, right? Ah, uh, yes, good. Correct. Two by three pi r cube. Yes, good. Is a volume means capacity of the solid. Capacity of the solid, okay. So maximum capacity that is a volume. Okay, here cone is a cone volume that is equal to one third pi r square h. Pi r square h cubic units. So area means square units, volume means cubic units. And now for a hemispherical portion. So two third by your cube. Here also cubic units. Yes, correct, correct, correct. And hemisphere is a two third means what is a full sphere? This full sphere have a four by three. It's a pi or cube cubic units. Are you okay? And one more solid is a cylinder. What is the volume of cylinder? Uh, it's a pi r square h. Okay, ma'am. So we could, it's all these only in a portion. There is a volume formulas. Okay. It's so an express okay, formula memory spread in there. Now we move to the excess directly. Yes. So take pi is equal to 22 by 7 unless stated otherwise. Okay. Now, okay, question. Just read the question number one. A solid is in the shape of a cone standing on a hemisphere with both their radii being equal to 1 centimeter and the height of the cone is equal to its radius. Find mm. the volume of the solid in terms of pi. Okay. A solid is in the shape of a cone standing on a hemisphere. The shape of a cone just standing on a hemisphere with both their radii being equal to 1 centimeter. Height of the cone is equal to its radius and the volume of the solid in terms of pi. So just draw the diagram initially and show it. The okay, shape of the solid what form? Please try to draw. Okay ma'am. Mm. Right, right, right. 
yes good very good ma very good good enough enough I'll go to the calculation part. Still point to exercise question. Actually, a hemispherical bottom and a conical top, a solid in the shape. Have a measurement as a both have a same radius, R is equal to one centimeter. Also, um, radii being equal to one, height of the cone is equal to its radius. So cone height is equal to radius means here also this height is equal to one centimeter. From this center to anywhere in the hemisphere that represent only radius, you know, this is the center of the hemisphere. From this point to in anywhere all represent radius. So this R is equal to one centimeter. So now we uh, do the calculation part. It is a volume. So volume means volume of a hemisphere plus volume of the core. Is correct? So volume of the solid. So volume of the given solid is equal to volume of a hemisphere is correct plus volume of a cone. Please try to say the formula. Volume of the hemisphere. Mm. Say the formula, ma'am. Uh, ma'am. Uh... 3 by 2 pi r square? No, 3 by 2. Pi r cube? 2 by 3, not 3 by 2. 2 okay. third. 2 third pi r cube plus uh, volume of a cone? Uh, 1 by 3 pi r square h. 1 by 3 pi r square h. Good. So now, um, common term picking out is good. S 2 third. Carabas 2 individually. One third pi r is common. All others inside the parenthesis is simple. Otherwise, we do the calculation separately. 2 by 3. Pi is 22 by 7. R cube is a 1 cube is a 1 alone. One third. Here is a 22 by 7. Here, r height both are same. 1 into 1 is a 1. Yeah, 1 into 1. Only. And now, no more simplification in the first term. Yes, 44 by 21. Plus, so this two that is a first term and this is a second term. So 22 by 21, both have a same denominator, it is easy. So common denominator is a 21. Just add the numerators, 44 plus 22 is 66. These two numbers go with the three, is correct? Yes, ma'am. No, you said two threes are, again two threes are, either seven. That's all. What is the... A uh, unit, correct unit for this term. Uh, mom pi. Mm, unit. I ask the unit. This is a volume. So unit by seven is a pi. Yes, correct. So what what unit will come? Square unit or cubic unit? It's a square unit will come or cubic unit. Which unit will come? Actually, our answer is always end with the correct unit, you know. Unit. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, so pi square. This is a pi. Volume of the solid. Area means we finish the question as a square unit. Is this correct? Centimeter yes, square. Ma'am, ma so pi centimeter cube. Ah, the unit is asking. It's a centimeter cube. Okay, ma'am. Yeah, or cubic centimeter. Both ways is correct. Either we end with a centimeter cube or cubic centimeter. Both are good. Okay, ma'am. Centimeter cube. Otherwise, we return like 
cubic centimeter. Both are correct. So okay. don't forget the unit. Suppose you forget the unit means half of the mark reduced. Half mark. Suppose this question carry four mark or four marks or three mark means half mark reduced. So three mark minus one by two. Two and a half marks only. The unit okay. carry half marks. Okay, don't forget the unit at the end of the question. This is the answer. See, is correct. 22 by 7 centimeter cube. See, in this way, R5 centimeter cube. Both are correct. Correct, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Oh, whoa, find the volume of the solid in terms of pi alone. To replace with the pi. That is no substitution. Go to the question again. So, find the volume of the solid in terms of pi alone. Okay, ma'am. No simplification need in this question. In terms of pi means there is no need to put the 22 by 7. So removing that. So keep it as a 22 by 7. In terms of pi alone. Okay, ma'am. Two third pi r cube is a one plus one third is a pi r square one, which is also one. one. So two pi by three plus pi by three. It's a common denominator. We put it as a five three. Two pi plus pi is a three pi. Now this three three get cancelled. Pi centimeter cube. That's all. So do you have any doubt? No, ma'am. No doubt. I'll explain one example to someone. Okay, this question is very important for case study also. Many times in a board paper also. Just read the question. A juice seller serving his customers using glasses Shown in figure 12.13, the mm. inner diameter of the cylindrical glass was 5 cm, but the bottom of the glass had a hemispherical raised portion, which reduced the capacity of the glass. If the height of a glass was 10 cm, find the apparent capacity of the glass and its actual capacity. Use pi is equal to 3.14. So, what is the difference between apparent and actual? Ma'am, uh, apparent means... Uh, mm the what we seem like it is the one but actually means it's not that but it's something else yes good so the hemispherical bulging portion is inside the glass is correct huh? it's yes, a cylindrical shapes uh glass here hemispherical bulging portion is inside to reduce the capacity of the juice glass okay actual capacity means this one so including this portion Apparent means excluding that portion. That's all. So actual capacity of the glass. So actual capacity means just um, the volume of the hemisphere at the base of the glass. It is less by, it is less by actually volume of the full cylinder. It is less by two-third by R cube. Actual okay. capacity of the glass equal to apparent capacity of the glass minus volume. Apparent. Apparent means is excluding just a cylinder portion only. Okay, actual means that portion minus cylinder minus hemisphere. Are you okay with the question or have a doubt? Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am, no doubts. This question is very important for case day also. Please do okay, this question as a homework and send me. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Okay. School line as in point the current as well. Mom, school are doing areas related to circles. That portion covered for you. Is correct? Intuition. Yes, ma'am. I covered that portion. Is correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, my head up, wait, ma. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And this cover on go in the axis cover on the probability extra sums problem solving. Is correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay. That cover of the revision focus on the B. Okay, ma'am. All portion cover revision area focus on. At okay. least in the paper, I'm going to time it at the LD to Anupa. 
எயிட்டி மார்க் பேப்பர் அனுப்பு தான் எழுதிட்டு அனுப்பணும் ஓகேங்களா ஓகே அன்னைக்கு கிளாஸ் எடுக்க முடியலமா சாட்டர்டே நைட்டு நீங்க உங்க ஆஃப் டே ஒர்க்கிங் டே இருக்குன்னு சொன்னீங்க தீபாவளி செலிப்ரேஷன் நைட்டு ஃபுல்லா கிராக்கர் சவுண்டா இருந்தது எடுக்க முடியல Okay.